Welcome to Backend Simplified. If you are here, you are likely starting a new project and wondering which package manager to use. In the following three minutes, we'll try to help you make an informed decision. We'll be comparing NPM and Yarn in terms of speed, community, simplicity, and security. If you are new to this channel, our mission is to simplify the backend world for you. If you discover something new in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's start with providing a quick background. NPM, which stands for Node Package Manager, was created in the early days of Node.js to handle packages. However, due to various issues over the years, Facebook developed an alternative that is called Yarn. Both of them check the package.json file and install packages. npm creates a helper called package.lock.json while yarn uses yarn.lock. Let's dive in and start populating our table. The first one is speed. npm doesn't utilize caching, but yarn does. Once you've completed the initial package installation, yarn can tap into its cache significantly reducing installation times. This cache can become critical as your project grows, especially when you aim to optimize your CI-CD pipeline. One point goes to Yarn in this regard. The second one is community. We began this video by mentioning that Facebook initially developed Yarn. But in 2016, it was released as open source software. Both NPM and Yarn now have a big and active communities. So let's give a point to both of them in this category. The next one is simplicity. Both NPM and Yarn are straightforward and highly intuitive to use. Additionally, they provide good documentation. Therefore, let's award one point to each of them for their simplicity. The last one is security. While some argue that Yarn is more secure than NPM, I believe this isn't entirely accurate. Both NPM and Yarn have taken substantial steps to enhance their security measures. These include features such as vulnerability scanning, security advisories, and the capacity to audit packages for known vulnerabilities. Furthermore, the fact that they are both open source projects typically adds an extra layer of security. Therefore, let's give one point to each of them for their efforts to ensuring security. Okay, let's totally up the points and it's look like our winner today is... Yarn! <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments and if you are still here, please give it a thumbs up. Keep growing and see you in the next video.